Hi, I am Hypo and we are back again. We have Loadout playing at the moment. It's a free to get play game from Steam. You can pick it up. You can also pick it up from their site. It was released not that long ago, but I thought I'm enjoying it and it's really apt game to kind of throw into my whole budget gaming series because it is free to play. So what to expect from Loadout? <sighs> It's kind of a third person version of TF2. You're going to get the the obvious comparisons because it's very comical just looking at his face. Yes. Yeah. Um so what makes this stand out from other third person shooters? Well, one, the weapon crafting. Instantly it strikes you as being different. You essentially are taking a weapon, you choose what you want it to be, a rifle, launcher, pulse, beam. Then you, you know, go from, basically build up from the chassis. So this is a launcher, I'm going to keep it as a launcher. Um, I can put different stocks on it that, you know, change your accuracy, your stabilities, that kind of thing. Scope is pretty much what you expect. Laser guidance system, bioscanner, these I haven't unlocked yet, but you can get like um, like a remote control rockets, which are really fun. Um, then you've got your barrel. Um, I'm going for quad barrel because I want the hexa barrel, mainly because just more rockets look cool. That's it. And then you've got penters, which is just five. Heavy is your single shot rocket, but does a lot of damage. Um, yeah, so basically you build it up from there, then you've got your triggers, um, then you can choose what type of damage they do. If we go back now to, <coughs> excuse me, um, Simply Electric, which is my other gun I've got, which is Gatling Barrel, Electric, Tesla, um, High Capacity, Magazine, a few different rounds here, that kind of thing. But then once you've got your gun made up, you can test it, and each gun is going to perform differently. A bit of load in, um, and you're given like a rifle range. As you can see, you can jump pretty high, and you can then just, you know, test what the rocket will do. There you go, and it's, you know, you can fine tune. Whoa! Look at his. Oh, look, he's got a rocket in his hair. And some guy in a football shirt. But yeah, as you can see, the animation quality is really good in this game. Absolutely amazing. Um, shoot him in the ass. Um, but yeah, then you can shoot him in the face. Oh, okay, you can't shoot him in the face. Um, but yeah, you can do the um, animation. Have I just blown out an eye socket? I have. No, I haven't. Have I blown out an eye? Um... I've... I... I... J what? I've... I've... Well, yeah, that that's happened. I don't even know what's going on here, but yeah, I've... No longer have a head. Right, great. So, yeah, we'll move on quickly from that. Once you have your gun created, you can add it into a loadout. Then you can choose your character couple of loadout slots you can put your guns you've created into and then hand grenade hand grenade then you can upgrade to like shields turrets jump boots health pickups etc etc um outfitter you get to you know customize your character they give you a couple of you got like axel t-bone and helga I went with one that I've just created and I based it off of Axel, just took the hair away and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, then you've got Locker. These are your statistics mainly. Um, you can change your avatar, which I've now got an eyeball. Statistics on what you've been doing and your summary on, you know, your guns. Um, rifle launcher pulse as 11%. Um, and they, you know, build up. With your tech tree progress, which was here, which is here. Um, yep. If I go to pulse, uh, it's a little bit. I don't know whether it's just me. Right. Well, 
that doesn't work. But payload, and you can kind of work up to the, you know, you can't instantly just get pyro rounds on it. You've got to buy the Tesla first. Um, ah, there we go. So I've got Gatling, and you see you can upgrade. Um, next upgrade increases strength, rate of fire, stability, that kind of thing. So you want to try and get a gun that you like, and basically try and get it as quickly as possible to give you the benefits of it. Um, standard is all I've ever used. Um, then you've got your store where you can buy um, space bucks, XP boosts, loadouts, gun slots, avatars, that kind of thing. And you can also buy um, clothing. And what you're looking at here is the XP boost. XP is to do with how quickly you level up and get unlocks. Blutes are used to buy gun parts. Um, so with that said, we'll just jump into a game. Um, we'll go against bots, find a match. Bots in this game are actually pretty good. They they aren't slouches. They will, you know, at times, if you're not used to the game, they will kick your ass. They will double team you. They will gang up on you. They will snipe. They will just wreak havoc. So we are capture control points. Okay. Get in there as quickly as possible. Oh, didn't make the jump. And we got him down. I've got to get in here quick. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And we might do this. Let's just switch to the rocket launcher a minute. There we go. I just threw a couple of rockets in there. I don't know if there's anyone in there. Right, let's reload my weapons. There we go. Oh, are we going to the right place? Yes. Right, then we're going to count you. As you can see, very colourful. That annoying little, I want to say shriek or buzz or whatever. That just basically means that I'm doing damage. Oh, oh now I'm down. Very violent game, and one definitely not for the kiddies. But it's it's a fun, enjoyable third-person shooter, and it's absolutely free to play. So, you know, go out, grab it, um, and play it. It's definitely one of the budget series gaming. There you go. Um, and is well, well worth it. It's well worth your time putting in. Oh, there we go. We got that one. Oh, we've tied the score. Sweet. Um, um, die, die. Oh, God. Let's throw a grenade around there. Oop. Oh, chunk. Oh, blew my arm off. Nice. Um, oh, got a healing rocket launcher, that dude. Get up there. Oop. Yeah, I know they're in the lead. There's not a lot I can do. I didn't want to go down here. Oh, well. And yeah, it's what can you really say about it? It's new, it's fun, it's a pretty original game. Um, it is kind of not stepping on TF2's toes, but it's understandable the comparisons because it's a game not to be taken seriously. Oh, die, 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 die. There we go. You can die as well. No, no, no. Oh, I'm not, still not used to this gun. Oh, no. My legs have gone. And down. Best death ever. Um, yes. So I'm just going to try and show you a bit more footage because I've got a few more minutes left. Um, I might as well use my full allotted time. You know, feel free to leave messages at the bottom of the video. I will do my best to read them. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or games that you want to recommend for the budget series. Oh no, I killed him too late. That sucks. Oh, sweet. Sweet. 
Oh, and I'm down. Yeah, so if you want to recommend anything, um, you know, for the budget series, games that you think are well worth the money, um, it, they don't have to necessarily be cheap or free to play, as long as they are just good value for money. Um, like I said, with the Elder Scrolls series, they are good value for money, but I won't be, unfortunately, touching them because Bethesda don't seem to like you putting up footage of their games. Um, so I've kind of avoided that. I've got a list of games that you're allowed to monetize, not allowed to monetize, that you're allowed to make, not allowed to make. Um, and Bethesda, unfortunately, happens to be one of the ones that are a little bit, you know, oh, you're not allowed to. <coughs> oh. Oh yes, sweet, we got it. No, 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 don't shoot me. What are you... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's me on fire. Yeah, the respawn system in here is an instant. Um, you actually have to tell the computer to respawn you, which I have at times just sat here thinking, well, why aren't I respawning? Start raging at the computer and then it's like, oh yeah, oh, I'm being an idiot. Hup. There we go, up here, and up here. Come, die. Get, 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 go, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I threw a couple of nades in. Oh, no, I went very, I was trying so hard to concentrate there. Oh, so apologies there, but as you can see, the quality of it is pretty good. The animations are spot on. It's fun. It's enjoyable. A third person game, this, you, you know, you need look no further, to be honest. It's fun. It's fast paced. It's enjoyable. Um, it's not to be taken seriously. It really isn't. Oh, just throw a couple of grenades in if he's going to jump around. Do you see what I mean about the, um, you know, the bots? They are pretty, pretty spot on. They will dive and jump around, avoid your gunfire. They will. They are very, very punishing. Oh, I got some heals somewhere. Sweet. Right, fire a couple of gren rockets into there. Oh. Oh no, have they got a turret down? Oh no, we lost. So, well, that kind of finished on a bad um, finish. Finished on a bad finish? Well, what the hell was my brain thinking there? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, go pick it up. It's available from Steam on their free-to-play section. It's also available straight from Edge of Reality site, who are the publishers. Um, and developers as well. So I will put a link in the description straight to their homepage. So yeah, feel free, check it out. It's really good, awesome budget game, and you will can, you can spend hours playing this, I guarantee. It's enjoyable, it's fun, it's, it's just brilliant. It's really, really good. So yeah, guys, check it out. And I'll see you next time.